Hey guys, what's up? Jed here. Welcome to another video. I hope you're all having a great day. In today's video, we're going to be finding equations of straight lines. So let's take a look at our first example. We are being asked to find the equation of the line that passes through the points 2, 3, and 5, 9. So how you'd approach this question is by first writing y equals mx plus c. Any straight line can be written using this equation. Your task is to find m and c. M represents the gradient of the line, how steep the line is, and C represents the y-intercept, where the line cuts the y-axis. Once you've found the values for M and C, you can rewrite the equation as is, with the values for M and C replacing the letters. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to find M, the gradient of this line. And how you do that is using the following formula. So if you've never seen this before, it might seem a bit tedious at first, but it's really not that bad. Let's take a look at where we can get these values for y2, y1, x2, and x1. They come from the coordinates. You see your coordinates, the left-hand value is the x-coordinate, and the right-hand value is the y-coordinate for each set of coordinates. So now I'm going to choose this 9 for my y2. And therefore, this 3 has to be y1. And more importantly, if I've chosen this 9 to be my y2, then this 5 has to be my x2. And therefore, this 2 has to be my x1. These are known as coordinate pairs. It doesn't make a difference what you choose for y2 or y1, so long as whichever value you have chosen for y2, its paired coordinate is x2. Okay, so now that we know this, let's go ahead and substitute these values in to this formula to find the gradient. So y2 has been replaced with nine, y1 has been replaced with three, x2 has been replaced with five, and x1 has been replaced with two. And if we simplify, we get the following, six over three, and this can be simplified further to give us a gradient of 2. So now that we found the gradient, which is equal to 2, we can rewrite our equation as y equals, and instead of m, I'm going to write down the actual gradient we found, which is 2. I'm still going to write x as it is. And because we haven't found the y-intercept yet, I'm just going to write it as plus c. So you are one step closer to finding the full equation of the line that passes through the given coordinates. Now the next step is to find the y-intercept c. And I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm first going to rewrite the equation of the line that we have found up until now. So y equals 2x plus c. And I'm going to choose one of the coordinates. You could choose any coordinate you want. So with that in mind, I'm going to choose the coordinate with the smaller numbers since it's going to be easier to calculate. So I've chosen the coordinate 2 and 3. And don't forget your left coordinate is the x value and your right hand coordinate is the y value. What you have to do now is replace your y and x variables in this equation here with the x and y coordinates that you've chosen from the question. So instead of y, I'm going to write 3. And this is going to be equal to 2 multiplied by the x value in the coordinate, which is 2, plus c. The next step is to simplify. Now we rearrange for c. So I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides of this equation to get c on its own. And this leaves us with c is equal to minus 1. So now I can write the full equation of the line that goes through these two points. y is equal to 2x, so we found the gradient to be 2, and c is minus 1. So we're going to add a negative value, which just gives us a minus value. What you could effectively do is just write the value of c next to it like this. And there you have it. This equation here is the equation of the line that goes through these two coordinates. So just to quickly reiterate what we did, we first began by writing y equals mx plus c. We then used the coordinates to find m, which was 2. We then used one of the coordinates to find c by inputting each value of the coordinate into the equation that we have found up until that point. Once we found c, we rewrite the whole equation with m and c replaced. And that's how you do it. Okay, let's take a look at this example. Here we're given a graph and a straight line, and we're being asked to find the equation of the line in the graph below. So how do we proceed? We first begin by writing y is equal to mx plus c, the generic equation for any straight line. We now need to find the gradient of this straight line, and we need to use the graph to do this. So what do we need to look for the gradient? Well, we need two coordinates. So now I'm going to go about finding two points that the line passes through and use them to find the gradient of this line. I'm going to pick points that have whole numbers for their coordinates. So the first point I'm going to pick 
is this one here, which has an x coordinate of 6 and the y coordinate of 0. The next point I'm going to pick is this one here, which has an x coordinate of 2 and the y coordinate of minus 2. I'm then going to label my coordinates. I'm going to say this is y2, therefore this is x2. This is y1, therefore this is x1. And now we'll use the formula to find the gradient as we did before, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And if we substitute these values in, we end up with the following. 0 minus, and then y1 is a negative value, so we're going to be taking away a negative value. It's 0 minus negative 2 over 6 minus 2. And this simplifies to give us the following. Since we have two negatives on top, they form a positive, so it's 0 plus 2, and 6 minus 2, which is 4. And 2 over 4 can be simplified as 1 over 2. And this is the gradient of the line given to us in this graph here. So now we can rewrite our equation as y equals mx plus c, but instead of m, I'm going to write the gradient that we found, which is a half, a half of x plus c. And now we need to find the y-intercept. This line here cuts the y-axis between minus 4 and minus 2, which means that it cuts it at minus 3. So just by looking at the graph, I can see that c is equal to minus 3. Now we can write our full equation of this line, which is y is equal to a half of x minus 3. And there you have it. This is how you find equations of straight lines using coordinates and graphs. Thank you for watching. We look forward to reading any questions you may have for us. Please leave them in the comments below. Take care and we'll see you in the next video.